Hello everybody and welcome to a Playclaw 5 tutorial. In this video I'm going to be covering the Twitch Chat plugin DLC which will be available for Playclaw 5 uh, pretty soon. Uh, it is a paid DLC just to uh, give you a heads up on that. But let's uh, dive right into the settings here. So you've got it in the list here. I'll open up the normal settings. Uh, as with every other uh, plugin we can change the font with a style and a size right here. Uh, the color of the text, so this will be the actual um, chat text color. We've also got the background transparency, the default is 20, but you may need to adjust that depending on the game that you're overlaying on. So a game that's very light, you might want to have a darker background so you can see the text better. We've got the user colors, so you can choose between Twitch colors and random colors. So Twitch colors means uh, Playclaw will actually retrieve the colors from Twitch so that they'd be the same as if you were watching it on a browser for instance. Or you can choose to use random colors from Playclaw. It'll generate the colors for you um, and it'll also avoid the color you've selected here so there's no confusion between the name and a message. Next up we've got the channel name. So this is the the Twitch channel that you're actually going to be watching. Uh, so if you want to join um, a, a specific channel you just type that in here. We've got the username. So this is the, the name of the Twitch account that you'll be using. And in order to connect you need the user name and also an authorization password. And to get that you simply click this button here and your browser should open up and click here. Uh, I'll do that and cut that out of the video. Obviously I don't want to share my uh, authorization password. Okay, I've got it on my clipboard so I'll just remove the old one and paste the new one. And assuming you've done everything correctly, if you click check login, you should see this message. So you're ready to go. So let's take a look at the overlay preview. There we go, it's, it's already showed up. So this info section here um, is telling me that it's joined the channel and it's ready to accept chat. So this is the same as any other plugin. You can move it around, resize it, and uh, all that good stuff. Uh, it is read-only at the moment, so uh, you can't actually interact with uh, with Twitch chat using the overlay. But there are plans in the future to accommodate that if it, if it's technically possible, at least. Um, Another thing to note is that the moderator and I, uh, sorry, o owner icons in front of the names, uh, they don't actually show up as yet, um, but there, there are plans to get that to work. The, the icons in within chat itself, they are supported, which I'll show you in just a moment. Uh, also supported is the slash me command and tagging. So if somebody is tagged, uh, a message that they're tagged in will show up in the, the name the name color that they've uh, been assigned. So what I'll do right now is I'll open up my Twitch account like that and I'll show you some of these things in action. So I'll type a message and you can see it appear there. So in this case, uh, dark blue here in Twitch and Playclaws assigned me a lighter blue color. Um, slash me. Apparently I do something. As you can see, the text has shown up in uh, my name color. And I can also tag myself using the, uh, the symbol there says with tag. So again it shows up in the same color and we go back to normal color if you uh, type a normal message. So if any other user tags you then you'll see it in your color. So I'm just going to enable this for rendering recording and if we jump over to Elite Dangerous you can see it right here as well. Uh, There's a good example here. This is quite a, a dark background and uh, my text color is pretty dark itself, so I could actually go into the plugins, 
let's close the preview and setting and change this to a darker color see if that helps yeah slightly better there see with a lighter game it'll be even more clear okay so that's the plugin in a nutshell if you have any questions head on over to the Playclaw forums there are lots of people there willing to help you out and uh, yeah we hope you enjoy this video stay tuned for more covering features in Playclaw and thanks very much for watching